Hello and welcome back to the GDScript Fundamental Tutorial Series. In this episode, we'll be going over the if, else if, and else statements. Let's get right to it. As you probably know, Godot uses control statements to control the flow of execution in your code. One of these are the conditional statements if, else if, and else keywords. Let's go ahead and take a look at the if statement chain. An if statement chain is a control structure that executes one block of statements if a certain condition is true, and a second block of statements if it is false. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the if statement. An if statement starts the if else statement chain. Only one if statement is allowed to be used per chain. As you can see here, we have two separate if statement chains. An if statement checks a test, and if the test is true, goes ahead and executes everything in the statement block. In this case, if the test comes out to false, we're gonna skip the statement block and execute nothing. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example. This is the if-else-if combo. The else-if has to precede an if statement. You can provide multiple else-if statements in your chain. In this case, as you can see here, we have an if statement, and if the test is false, we move on to the else if statement. If the else if statement is true, we execute everything in the block of code in the else if and exit the chain. However, if the else if test is false, we're gonna go ahead and skip everything in the statement block and exit our chain. Let's go ahead and take a look at an if else statement chain. One thing to note about the else statement is that the else statement must be at the end of the chain. The else statement ends the if else if else chain and executes the statement if all tests fail. In this case, we have an if test. In this case, in the if test block, if it's true, we execute everything in the if statement block and exit our chain. However, if the if test comes out to false, we immediately move on to the else statement block and execute the code in the else block. After everything in the else block executes, we exit the chain. This is what you may find yourself using a lot of the times. This is basically an if, else if, and else statement chain. You can also refer to this as a nested if, else statement. In this case, all the same rules apply. If the test in the if line comes out true, we execute everything in the statement block for the if and exit the chain. However, if it's false, we move down chronologically. So keep in mind that the order of your if, else, if, and else statement is important to the code. I went ahead and numbered it to show you chronologically how the code executes. We go to the if, move on to the else if, move on to the other else ifs if you have multiple else if statements. And finally, to end it all, we have the else statement. Let's go ahead and take a look at the basic if statement flowchart. As you can see here, we are starting at the top of our code and we went ahead and moved into our if test expression. Now, as you can see here, if the test expression comes out to true, we enter the statement block and execute all the code. However, if our if test expression is false, we exit the chain. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the flowchart for a basic if else statement. Now we went ahead and start our code and we've just entered our if test expression. If the test expression in our if is true, we enter the statement block. However, if it is false, we enter the else statement block and execute the code inside the else statement. No matter which one we run, we end up exiting the chain after completion. Basically, in an if-else statement, we're either going to run the code in the if block or run the code in the else block. We cannot escape that. Let's go ahead and take a look at a flowchart for the basic if-else-if-else statement. So you can see here, we started our code at the top and we've just entered our if-test expression. We know how an if test expression works if it's true. However, let's go ahead and take a look at what happens if it's false. If it's false, we move into the else if test expression. Now, if that ends up coming true, we enter the statement block and we exit the nested if else chain. However, if it's false, if our test expression comes out to false, we just move on to the next else if test expression. And if all the else if test expressions come out false, then we enter the else statement block, execute everything inside the else statement block, and then we exit the nested if else chain. That's basically it for this episode. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next episode.